Hi! Welcome back to Hand of Fate 2. Today, the servant. Ooh. Every tale is ultimately a tale of blood, is it not? Yeah. Let us find the roots of this one. And let's take. Okay, let's go. Because we can just go with the quality. Yep. Mm. Let's go back to the older ones. Just to see. Okay, uh. No, this one's not. Can I inspect this? I can't. It requires. It still requires 20 fen to wield it. We will take this, 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 this is new. Up, 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 up. Did I take the sword for. Oh, it's for later. Okay, I'll take the cardinal blade and the ruby ring, maybe. Okay, we can take. Yep. In your long journey, you befriended many strange characters, but none so strange as Lord Veles of House Leshar. Blood. The stranger's bargain is unorthodox but simple. Ensure you have life enough for two. Food. You will have mostly certainly need your strength. Ensure you have plenty of supplies. Finish them. The stranger will appreciate the blood of fallen enemies better than they are than yours. Knockdown will be most valuable. You know okay. how little I approve of the way the world has changed since my defeat. Let us dig into the darkness and see if any of the old ways remain. When strength is lost, negotiation remains. Yet will you deal in life itself? The usurper once did, but at least he was rewarded for his sacrifice. I very appreciate it. While he was talking about something he remembers from the past, he looked out the window like, oh, well, okay, remember me. Oh, the prison door shuts behind you with a clang. Another day fighting in the pit followed by another night in the theater cell. You wonder how long you will be here. You wonder how long you will survive. As you pick yourself up from the dirt, something stirs in the shadows. It slinks forward, eyes glowing yellow in the darkness. You glimpse long limbs and cold grey skin as the tail natures towards you. You scuttle back until the stone wall stops your retreat. A refined voice rings out. Oh dear, it appears we've both made an error in underestimating the goblins. And here I stand dressed in rags and barely fit for company. The voice seems out of place coming from a such a fearsome visage. But sure enough, the rags draping the creature were once noble garments. Take a moment to steady yourself, you have work to do. But I understand it will take you a moment to ready yourself. I want what you want, obviously. We need to escape, and there's only one way that's going to happen. Blood. For yours first, their second. The creature pushes a wooden bow filled with gruel in your direction. In my fullness, I would leave here in an instant, but this is all they have fed me. It lacks any life, any strength, any power. Now you are here, beaten, but so vital. Together we can gain our freedom. I see you hungrily. Okay. Okay, fine. The stranger is upon you almost before the words are out of your mouth. Teeth sinking in their flesh as his arms envelop you, keeping you still. A breathless moment passes and then another. Match! You struggle and you can feel the creature becoming stronger as each moment passes. The flames like iron he releases you, gasping. There is a wild look in his eyes as he rises to his full height, incandescent in the gloom. He grins at you to flee. The pact is sealed. You should know we of the list never break agreements once made. You hear the goblin guards approaching the prison door. With a flourish, the creature tosses his cloak to the floor, where it falls into a pool of liquid midnight. The shadows turn, filling the room with darkness, drawing in the light and leaving utter blackness in their wake. The goblin chatter slows to slower and deepens. 
You hear the key grate against the chamber of the lock, turning with a snap. The door creaks open, slow as a spoon in famine. The beast turns to you. Do not dally, insists. Embrace the twilight. Then you are moving, with the shadow reaching out as the sun sets over the horizon. Out of the cell, as the guards, through the caverns and on toward the light. Here in the light, you are once more at risk. There you are met with the sweet scent of fresh air and the warmth of the setting sun. And as quickly as it has begun, the oblivion of shadow and darkness is gone. A moment to take a breath, perhaps, and to learn of the strange company you keep. As the last warm rays of sunlight sink below the tree light, you take a moment to rejoice. After weeks of fighting in the pit, you are finally free. Eager to part ways with your bloodthirsty acquaintance, you wait for the right moment to get relief. Let's stop with him first. You nervously thank the stranger for his assistance in your escape and wish him good fortune on his journey. Done? We are not done. We are not close to done. I said we would, I would free you from those goblins and they will pursue you until the ends of this earth. You said you would heal my hunger and I am not close to say it. Do not, um, f do not hear. From here our paths are bound together until death or completion. Save your companion's hunger to settle your debt. Tw 500 life. Relinquish your life to me. Okay, twice we can do that. Your own life slips away. Yeah, I know. We're done. The beast frowns at you. Know this. I seek counsel with my uncle. I must inform him of my brother's treachery. He points to the night sky. A slender crescent moon can be made out between the trees. The blood moon. We must reach him before the blood moon. But he is far, far from this place. We can only reach him through the list. And I need power for that. Why he used to be there by the blood moon? The beast gives you a withering look. Make your final preparations, he continues. We can wait here no longer. We can bargain? No, I don't want to bargain. Don't disappoint me, he says, turning his back to me with, his, with a flick of his cloak. Okay. Caution, care, and time. It's not like I have any choice. Your lack thereof has got you into trouble. Oh, you feel the shadows, beasts, both clamp on your shoulders. Phew, he hisses. We can avoid the goblins if we travel through the lesser horror through shadow. Oh, the shadow of it. Okay, okay, how can I go by shadow? Oh, and then the shadow realm. It appears your companion has ways of avoiding even those who follow, but at what cost? Veilless nods. I cannot keep us both in the list for long. We slip through the veil into the cold oblivion. The colors of the forest become muted, and your vision swims. You cannot be sure if you are in the realm, in a dream, or not. Okay. And what I got right here? Do you insist on hmm. doing this the hard way, or are you simply clumsy? Oh! <laughs> I forgot. Which way we should go? Without warning, you are surrounded by goblins, violent and chittering. Before you can make a break for the trees, you are struck from behind. Everything fades to black. Your mind rolls as you try to fight off the memories of the time in captivity, the time spent surviving the goblin pits, the, time, the stamping of goblin feet, the chants, the, lo the laughter. You try to push the fragments from your thoughts, but they do not relent. Okay, we'll fight skeletons. No big deal. Give me a second here. Okay. Raised from endless sleep to fight wounds more. Skeletons are weak, but come armed with an assortment of equipment, making preparations for 
too much of it. Challenging. Vulnerable to folly. Wish we don't have the basic sword. They, well, they are vulnerable to anything right now. And they won't raise a. Yeah, no, those three are getting up. A lot of them are getting up. That's not a nice band. Can I take it? Your mind clears and you realize you're still in the forest. But strange beast has once again disappeared the pursuers. But it recalls. I stopped them for now, he whispers from beneath his hood. But I will need some assistance. Okay, take it. The grave received the receipts from his floor, the cracks in his horns heal, continue your escape. Always treat those who feed oh. you with respect. Even I stand by this rule, and I have respect for few. Bella sniffs at the air, push furiously. I see no split corpses, but this scent, it is intoxicating. The old farmer hawks his wares of the professor's by. Dark spice and exotic fruits. Chester gives you a jolly wave. What would you like to buy on this fine morning? No exotic ice, that's for sure. You, you actually need to check the card. If it says exotic rice, don't try exotic fruits. You go for tarts. He passes you a tart over from custard and berries. I've been simply giving tarts away today, must be the sunshine! He considers a few remaining tarts for a while, before he finally decides on a prize. Oh. Oh no. Oh fuck. Damn it. Ah uh, no. Chester seems strangely affronted at this. Takes a tart from your hands and coldly asks you to leave. I have! I didn't even have! Oh. Continue our escape through the brooding forest. You wonder if it is good fate or poor that nothing eventful occurs. Eventful. Feed your companion however you please, yet you may find the blood of others more efficient. Mm. Your desperate trek away from the terrors of the goblin fighting pits is interrupted when your path leads you to an armed band concealed in the forest. You watch from your hidden vantage point as the group confronts a wandering peasant. They let the man pass after carefully inspecting his face and his meager possessions. They are here for us, Vales mutters intently. Word of our escape has preceded us, and also of calling no doubt spurred many into action. We could go the long way around to approach them from the north instead, Vales suggested. It would take them several hours, but it could give us the opportunity to make them to take them by surprise. My kind are most effective at surprise attacks. Okay, we will wait. After hours of backtracking, you return to the clearing, this time approaching from a more favorable angle. A few of the bandits hu huddle around a small campfire while others wait in darkness watching the trail. This job's a fool errand. No one. Oh, one of the sentries says, I don't trust those little freaks to pay us, even if we do catch them. It's easy money if we can find them, the other responds. Relax, we'll be out of here, or out of these woods before winter sits in. We prepare to charge at them. Uh, okay, 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 I see. Um, You and Valus leap upon your enemies like demons, slaughtering several before the others react. The mercenaries watch in, or in horror as Valus slakes his first upon their companions. The fuck? Take a sip of tea. So cute! <sighs> Lord Bellis, a nightmare from the fables. 
and activated Lilith performs a series of powerful strikes against multiple targets. Stay close to charge a bit faster. I don't know what that well then, challenge accepted. Do that. God damn it. Pick. Hey. Oh, I hope to heal him or something. There's a way for him to see off the enemies during a fight. Like this, I think. Yep. Wouldn't wait for him. Oh my god, okay, I'll die if I continue this. Really? Okay, that's bollocks. I reflected, but for some reason she turned away. Now death oh, comes to you. This story ends here. Oh, I have to those adventures will be hard. Would you like to know about this? No! No, no, I should have pressed on us again. No! No. But I will take a break. So, maybe we'll get back to those later, but tomorrow we'll go for the Emperor. Yeah. So now, thank you very much. Stay alive and see you soon!